guys, welcome to ET Land. I make vlogs about handheld setup tutorial, game introduction, anything about Digimon, anime, toy, ASMR, and anything related to otaku. So make sure you subscribe to my channel if you are interested in these topics. So today's topic is a review on Caravan Stories that it's launched yesterday in Japan. This online game is actually available on PS4, iOS, Android, and yesterday it started to launch on Switch as well. I was so excited when they were announcing this, and I have been waiting for a while, so I started my adventure yesterday. I actually downloaded this game right after they make it available on the store however it seems like the server is not that stable so um, this is actually my second attempt uh, so for my first attempt the server was down and they have to do some maintenance and then I tried it again at night and obviously um, it is quite difficult to log in Carphone Story is a free online game that you can find on the Japanese eShop and there are quite a few races that you can actually choose in this game. However, you have to complete certain storylines before choosing certain races. I personally like the design of these characters a lot and there are quite a few variations that you can choose from the start. So that is one thing that I think it is really good about this game. The intro is a little bit long and you can hear that there are some glitches in the sound. But other than that, the sound quality and the visual are actually quite good. The voice acting and the graphics are just too good for a free online game. You can turn on the auto option for walking so you go directly to your destination without needing to control anything. The battle system is rather simple, you can just press A for attack and you can change between characters. And you have to wait for a certain period of time after using a skill. My biggest disappointment is the glitches in the movie part. I do not expect any audio glitch such as this on a switch or a switch light. I was using the Wi-Fi at home when I filmed this and the connection was absolutely not bad. I am not sure about whether it is too much for a Switch Lite to handle or the server of Caravan Stories was not that stable enough at the very first day. This is disappointing. I mean, if this is an emulator or this is on a cheap phone, then I would say, okay, that's fine, it's acceptable. But this is on a Switch, well, Switch Lite. So I would never expect this to happen. I'm expecting that there will be an update from the officials so that they can actually resolve this problem and maybe they should kind of improve the server because this is a big problem to the players this affects the player experience a lot and i think is just the biggest drawback at the moment so if you know about this game it has been launched for a while so the whole story or characters things are all developed there is no doubt, but, you know, like, looking at those screeches is just not acceptable. I'm going to skip the rest of the tutorial, and I just wanted to show you the auto battle. 
which is super easy and you don't have to press anything so is you know relaxing if you just want to play some games without having a hard time then this is obviously a good option you know like despite the glitches it took me more than 20 minutes to get to the caravan and I felt like it was way too long and I haven't unlocked all the menus at this point. After playing it for more than 30 minutes, I finally unlocked the caravan and the whole menu. So this was long and more than I expected. Of course, there are more things to be unlocked, I'm sure about that. But I was like, I, I have to go to the lucky draw part because this is the first day and they have some events on it. And here is my lucky draw restart. So obviously I'm not that lucky and those items are not that rare but you know like I really enjoy doing this kind of lucky draw so it's okay. Like other online games you can actually purchase the magic stones but you know I'm not going to do that I don't like spending money on online games so I'll keep it free. So this is just my sharing and review on a 30 minutes gameplay which covers the introduction, tutorial, movies and the lucky draw part. In my honest conclusion, this game as a free online game is very well done except the parts that uh, maybe the server is not very strong yet. Those glitches are not acceptable at all, but other than that, I do really like it and the music is actually really good, so I enjoy that a lot as well. I'm not sure if it will be available outside of Japan in the future, but if you have a Japan Nintendo account and you know some Japanese or you are willing to learn some Japanese, then this is actually a good option. As most of the dialogues has Japanese voice acting, you can actually train up your listening skill by reading it through and listening to the uh, voice acting. It really helps a lot in my opinion. So this is a lazy way to learn Japanese but I think it is really effective. So if you're a Japanese learner, I really suggest you to try this game. So that's all from me today. Thank you for watching. Bye.